welcome to Dynan and another Tech Tip Tuesday. Today we're talking about electronic dampers. So majority of the current BMWs made have switched to electronic shocks. This is both the M cars and the non-M cars. The reason they've done this, it gives you the ability to have a soft ride when you'd like it, and then a firmer ride when you want it for performance. And that way you can be comfortable when you're going out to dinner in the evening, and when you go down your favorite country road or do a track day, you can just push a button on your center console, make your car stiffer. The M cars are damped very well for high performance suspension system, but the non-M cars are a little bit soft in Dynan's opinion. So what we've done is we've taken the shock absorbers and reprogrammed the control units. This is a shock absorber graph that shows force versus velocity. So on this scale here is force, 50, 100, 150, and 200 pounds. And the same thing in the other direction. The numbers are bigger over here because this is rebound. It's designed to control the spring energy, so you need more damping to do that. So rebound is on the bottom and compression is on the top. This is velocity, the speed in which the shock absorber goes up and down in inches per second. So when you get a bigger bump, you have more damping than you do in a smaller bump. The lines here represent different damping forces. The, the first line is comfort, the next one is normal, and the third one is sport. So when you push your button on your center console, this is what happens to the dampers. Basically, the force gets greater at the same given velocity. So now you have a, a set of uh, shock absorbers you can still make nice and soft and comfortable, but is tuned more accurately to your high performance springs when you lower your car. So how we determine the shock valving is basically it's designed to match the spring rate of the vehicle and give you good control. Spring rate is increased uh, whatever amount the dynamic feels is appropriate based on our experience of the weight of the vehicle, the weight distribution of the car, uh, and how soft the car is stocked. Uh, typical changes are in the 20, 30 percentile range that we make the car stiffer. And then we tune the shock absorbers to match the springs. The programming is in each shock absorber now. Each shock absorber has its own control unit, and each shock absorber has a digital ID for a location. So when our programming tool goes in there, it finds the right front shock and programs, and then the left front shock, and so forth until it does all four dampers. <laughs>